Welcome to the captivating narrative of Iceland, a land of fire and ice with a history as dynamic and diverse as its dramatic landscapes. Nestled in the North Atlantic, this island nation has a legacy that unfolds across centuries, marked by sagas of exploration, tales of resilience, and a cultural heritage deeply rooted in Norse traditions. As we embark on the journey through the history of Iceland, we will trace the footsteps of the first settlers who braved the harsh Arctic conditions in the 9th century, forging the beginnings of a unique society. From the establishment of the Althing, one of the world's oldest parliaments, to the pivotal moments of Christianization and union with Norway, Iceland's early history is a tapestry woven with the threads of democratic principles and cultural identity. Venturing through the centuries, we'll witness Iceland's encounters with Danish rule, the challenges faced during the 20th century conflicts, and the emergence of a modern, independent republic. The narrative will unfold against the backdrop of a nation that not only weathered the storms of history but also celebrated its language, literature, and rich cultural heritage. As we explore the historical milestones that have shaped Iceland into the nation it is today, we'll delve into its economic transformations, its commitment to environmental sustainability, and the indomitable spirit of its people. Join us as we unravel the history of Iceland, a story that echoes the resilience and determination of a nation carved by glaciers, warmed by geothermal springs, and colored by the aurora borealis, a land where history and nature dance in harmony. Early Settlement, 9th Century The dawn of Iceland's history unfolds in the 9th century, a period marked by the adventurous spirit of Norse and Celtic settlers. These intrepid voyagers, mainly from Norway and the British Isles, embarked on perilous sea journeys to discover and establish a new home in the North Atlantic. One of the prominent figures of this era is Ingolfur Arnarson, often regarded as one of the first permanent Norse settlers. The pioneer spirit, the 9th century witnessed a wave of migration driven by the allure of unexplored lands and the promise of a new beginning. These settlers, equipped with seafaring skills and a spirit of exploration, sought refuge and opportunity on the remote island of Iceland. Ingolfur Arnarson's settlement, Ingolfur Arnarson is credited with founding Reykjavik, the present-day capital of Iceland. His journey symbolizes the pioneering spirit of those times, and his establishment of a permanent settlement marked the beginning of Iceland's human history. Challenges of the new environment the settlers encountered a challenging environment characterized by volcanic activity, geysers, and glaciers. Despite the harsh conditions, they adapted to the land, utilizing its resources for survival. Social organization, the early settlers established a decentralized form of governance, creating local communities that operated independently. This laid the foundation for a society that would later develop one of the world's oldest parliaments, the Althing. Cultural synthesis, the merging of Norse and Celtic cultures in this new context created a distinctive cultural synthesis. This fusion of traditions laid the groundwork for the rich cultural tapestry that would define Iceland's identity in the centuries to come. The events of the 9th century set the stage for Iceland's unique trajectory. The establishment of settlements, the resilience in the face of a challenging environment, and the synthesis of diverse cultural elements all contributed to the shaping of Iceland's early identity. The spirit of exploration and adaptation during this period laid the groundwork for the subsequent chapters in Iceland's history, marking the beginning of a remarkable saga in the North Atlantic. The Commonwealth, 930 to 1262. This pivotal chapter in the history of Iceland unfolds between the years 930 and 1262, encapsulating a period known as the Icelandic Commonwealth. During these centuries, Iceland experienced a unique form of governance and social organization that would leave an indelible mark on its history. Founding of the Althing, 930 The cornerstone of the Commonwealth era was the establishment of the Althing in the year 930. Situated at Ingvellir, this assembly marked one of the earliest experiments with a parliamentary system in the world. Here, chieftains and leaders convened to legislate, adjudicate disputes, and make important decisions for the community. Decentralized governance, the Icelandic Commonwealth was characterized by a decentralized system of governance. Local chieftains, known as Gór, held significant influence over their respective regions. The lack of a central authority meant that power was distributed across the land. Legal code and judiciary, to maintain order in this decentralized system, a legal code known as the Gragas was developed. The Gragas outlined laws, regulations, and penalties for various offenses. The Althing served as a judicial assembly, where disputes were resolved and justice administered. Cultural flourishing, despite the lack of a centralized political entity, 
the Icelandic Commonwealth was a period of cultural flowering. Sagas, intricate narratives of historical events and legends, were written during this time, preserving the rich oral tradition of the Norse people. End of the Commonwealth, 1262 The Commonwealth era met its end with the signing of the Old Covenant in 1262, marking the beginning of the end of Icelandic independence. The agreement brought Iceland under Norwegian rule, setting the stage for subsequent unions with Norway and later Denmark. The Commonwealth era of Iceland holds immense significance in its history. The establishment of the Althing and the development of a legal code demonstrated an early commitment to democratic principles. The decentralized governance model, though unique, allowed for local autonomy and cultural expression. This period of cultural flourishing laid the groundwork for the preservation of Icelandic sagas and traditions, becoming an integral part of the nation's identity. The transition from the Commonwealth to external rule marked a turning point, yet the principles established during this time would continue to influence Iceland's development in the centuries that followed. Christianization and Union with Norway, 10th to 13th Centuries the 10th to 13th centuries in Iceland were marked by significant transformations as the island navigated the integration of Christianity into its society and later, the establishment of political ties with Norway. Introduction of Christianity, the process of Christianization began in the 10th century and unfolded gradually. Contrary to forceful conversions seen in some other regions, Iceland adopted Christianity through a peaceful process. This conversion was formalized at the Althing in the year 1000, a landmark decision that reflected a synthesis of Old Norse traditions and the new Christian faith. The role of Thorgeir Josvetningodi, Thorgeir Josvetningodi, a prominent chieftain, played a crucial role in the decision to adopt Christianity. In a momentous act, he threw his pagan idols into the waterfall of Gofoss, signifying the acceptance of Christianity. This event is considered symbolic of Iceland's peaceful conversion. The ecclesiastical structure, with the adoption of Christianity, Iceland developed a unique ecclesiastical structure. The country was divided into two dioceses, one at Skalholt and the other at Holer, each with its bishop. The church became a central institution in Icelandic society, playing a significant role in education and governance. Political ties with Norway, in the 13th century, Iceland's political landscape underwent a significant shift. The Old Covenant of 1262 marked the beginning of a political union with Norway. This union intensified over the years, leading to Iceland being placed under Norwegian rule. This laid the foundation for future political developments, including later unions with Denmark. Impact on culture and society, the introduction of Christianity influenced not only religious practices but also cultural and societal norms. The Icelandic sagas, which had preserved the pagan traditions, began to reflect the changing cultural landscape as Christian ideals and narratives gained prominence. The Christianization of Iceland was a pivotal moment that reshaped both its spiritual and political landscapes. The peaceful acceptance of Christianity demonstrated a pragmatic approach to religious change, allowing for a synthesis of old and new beliefs. The union with Norway set in motion a series of events that would eventually lead to Iceland's subjugation under foreign rule. The interplay between religious, cultural, and political factors during this era laid the groundwork for the complex historical narrative that defines Iceland's medieval period. The Danish rule, 17th to 19th centuries. The 17th to 19th centuries in Iceland were marked by a period of Danish rule, during which the island faced political, economic, and cultural challenges under the influence of the Kingdom of Denmark. Royal absolutism, during this period, Denmark experienced a shift towards royal absolutism, consolidating power in the monarchy. Iceland, as part of the Danish realm, came under the authority of the absolute monarchy, leading to changes in governance and administration. Economic challenges, Iceland faced economic difficulties during the Danish rule. Trade restrictions, particularly with other nations, hindered economic growth. The Danish trade monopoly limited Iceland's ability to engage in international trade independently. Natural disasters, the 18th century brought natural disasters to Iceland, including volcanic eruptions and harsh climatic conditions. These disasters, combined with economic constraints, led to population decline and increased poverty. Cultural revitalization, despite the challenges, the Danish rule also witnessed a cultural reawakening in Iceland. The Enlightenment era influenced Icelandic intellectuals who sought to revive and preserve their cultural heritage. This period saw a renewed interest in literature, language, and folklore. Nationalism and independence sentiment, 
The 19th century saw the emergence of nationalist sentiments in Iceland. Intellectuals and leaders began advocating for increased autonomy and independence. The Althing, which had been discontinued, was re-established in 1843, becoming a focal point for discussions on Iceland's political future. Constitutional reforms, in 1874, Iceland gained a constitution granting it limited autonomy within the Danish realm. This period marked the beginning of a constitutional monarchy, providing Iceland with a measure of self-governance. The Danish rule in Iceland represents a complex period marked by economic challenges, natural disasters, and cultural resurgence. While economic constraints and trade monopolies posed difficulties, the cultural awakening during this time laid the groundwork for Iceland's later independence movement. The emergence of nationalist sentiments and constitutional reforms in the 19th century set the stage for Iceland's transition towards greater autonomy within the Danish realm and, eventually, its path to full independence in the 20th century. The struggles and transformations during the Danish rule shaped Iceland's identity and its trajectory towards self-determination. Nationalism and Independence, 19th to 20th Centuries The 19th and 20th centuries marked a transformative period for Iceland as nationalist sentiments surged, leading to the eventual pursuit and attainment of independence. Cultural and Literary Resurgence The 19th century saw a profound cultural and literary revival in Iceland. Influenced by Romantic nationalism, Icelandic intellectuals and writers sought to revive and celebrate the nation's linguistic and literary heritage. Key figures like Jonas Hallgrimsson and Björn Jalmarsson played pivotal roles in this cultural renaissance. Re-establishment of the Althing In 1843, the Althing, Iceland's historic parliament, was re-established after being suspended for several years. This reinstatement provided a platform for political discourse and the expression of national aspirations. Home rule and constitutional struggles As nationalist fervor grew, Icelanders sought greater autonomy within the Danish realm. The demand for home rule gained momentum, aiming for increased self-governance. Constitutional struggles ensued, leading to the granting of a constitution in 1874, providing Iceland with a degree of autonomy within the Kingdom of Denmark. First World War and the struggle for sovereignty, the disruption caused by World War I provided an opportunity for Iceland to reassess its relationship with Denmark. In 1918, Iceland entered into a personal union with Denmark, creating the Kingdom of Iceland. This arrangement recognized Iceland as a sovereign state in a union with Denmark. Full independence, 1944 The global turmoil of World War II prompted Denmark's occupation by Germany. In this context, Iceland chose to assert its full independence. On June 17, 1944, Iceland officially severed its ties with Denmark and declared itself a republic. This day is celebrated annually as Iceland's National Day. Post-independence developments, Following independence, Iceland developed its institutions, economy, and international relations. The nation played an active role in the formation of international organizations like the United Nations and NATO. The period of nationalism and independence in Iceland was characterized by a reawakening of cultural pride, political activism, and the assertion of sovereignty. The struggles for autonomy, constitutional rights, and eventual independence marked Iceland's journey to becoming a fully independent republic. The cultural and political developments of this era continued to shape Iceland's identity, emphasizing the importance of cultural heritage, democracy, and national self-determination. World War II and Independence, 20th Century The 20th century brought significant challenges and opportunities for Iceland, particularly during World War II, which played a crucial role in the country's path to full independence. Occupation of Denmark, 1940 In April 1940, Denmark was occupied by Nazi Germany during World War II. This event had profound implications for Iceland, as the island was under Danish rule at the time. British and later American occupation, concerned about potential German occupation of Iceland and its strategic importance, the British invaded Iceland in May 1940. Later, in 1941, the United States took over the defense of Iceland from the British. This foreign military presence had a lasting impact on Iceland's history. Invasion concerns and referendum, the foreign military presence sparked concerns about Iceland's sovereignty. In 1943, a referendum was held, giving Icelanders the choice to dissolve the union with Denmark and establish a republic. The overwhelming majority voted in favor of independence. 
Declaration of Independence, 1944 On June 17, 1944, Iceland formally declared its independence from Denmark and became a republic. This decision was made while Denmark was still under German occupation. The establishment of the republic marked the culmination of Iceland's journey to full sovereignty. Post-war reconstruction, after World War II, Iceland faced the challenges of post-war reconstruction. The presence of foreign military bases, particularly the U.S. naval base at Keflavik, played a role in Iceland's security and economic development. The base became a key component of NATO's defense strategy during the Cold War. The events of World War II and Iceland's subsequent declaration of independence hold immense significance. The occupation of Denmark and the foreign military presence in Iceland prompted a reassessment of the country's political status. The decision to become a republic and assert full independence demonstrated Iceland's commitment to self-determination. The post-war era brought both challenges and opportunities, shaping Iceland's geopolitical position and influencing its relationships with other nations, particularly the United States. The events of this period continue to be central to Iceland's historical narrative and its identity as a sovereign nation. Post-war era to present. The post-war era to the present day in Iceland is characterized by a remarkable journey of economic development, cultural renaissance, and the nation's emergence onto the global stage. NATO membership and security, in the aftermath of World War II, Iceland became a founding member of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, in 1949. The strategic importance of the country's location in the North Atlantic, coupled with the geopolitical dynamics of the Cold War, contributed to its role in the alliance. The U.S. maintained a military presence at the Keflavik Naval Air Station until 2006. Economic Transformation Iceland underwent a significant economic transformation from the mid-20th century onwards. Initially reliant on fisheries, the nation diversified its economy, with a focus on energy, technology, and tourism. The harnessing of geothermal and hydroelectric power contributed to Iceland's energy independence. Cultural Renaissance the latter half of the 20th century and into the 21st century witnessed a cultural renaissance in Iceland. The country's literature, music, and arts gained international recognition. Icelandic authors like Halder Laxness received the Nobel Prize in Literature, contributing to the global appreciation of Icelandic literature. Financial Crisis, 2008 Iceland faced a severe economic downturn during the global financial crisis of 2008. The collapse of its banking system had significant repercussions, leading to protests and political changes. However, Iceland implemented unique measures to recover, including debt forgiveness and social programs. Tourism boom, in recent years, Iceland has experienced a surge in tourism, attracted by its breathtaking landscapes, geothermal wonders, and vibrant cultural scene. This influx of visitors has contributed significantly to the country's economy but also posed challenges related to environmental sustainability and infrastructure. Renewable energy leadership, Iceland has emerged as a global leader in renewable energy. The country utilizes geothermal and hydroelectric power for the majority of its energy needs, emphasizing a commitment to sustainability and environmental stewardship. The post-war era to the present represents a dynamic period in Iceland's history. From geopolitical alliances to economic shifts and cultural achievements, Iceland has navigated a complex path. The ability to rebound from economic challenges, harness renewable energy, and become a prominent tourist destination showcases the resilience and adaptability of the Icelandic nation. The country's contributions to international culture and its commitment to sustainability contribute to its unique global identity. As Iceland continues to evolve, its story remains one of innovation, cultural richness, and a harmonious relationship with its natural environment. Modern Era and Economic Challenges The modern era in Iceland has been marked by both notable achievements and economic challenges, reflecting the country's dynamic journey in the global landscape. Economic Prosperity In the latter half of the 20th century, Iceland experienced economic prosperity driven by the development of its fishing industry and later, the utilization of renewable energy resources. The country harnessed geothermal and hydroelectric power, establishing itself as a leader in sustainable energy practices. Financial Crisis, 2008 One of the defining moments in Iceland's recent history was the global financial crisis of 2008. The collapse of its three major banks, Glitner, Landsbanki, and Kopthing, resulted in a severe economic downturn. 
The Icelandic government's decision not to bail out the banks and instead focus on social welfare measures, including debt relief for homeowners, set Iceland apart in its response to the crisis. Political changes, the economic crisis led to significant political changes in Iceland. Widespread protests resulted in the resignation of the government, and new elections brought in a left-wing coalition. This period saw a re-evaluation of Iceland's economic and political priorities. Recovery and diversification, despite the challenges, Iceland demonstrated resilience in its recovery from the financial crisis. The country diversified its economy, focusing on sectors like tourism, technology, and renewable energy. The tourism industry, in particular, experienced a boom, with visitors drawn to Iceland's unique natural beauty. Renewable energy leadership, Iceland continued to build on its reputation as a global leader in renewable energy. The country's commitment to sustainability extended to international collaborations and initiatives, contributing to discussions on climate change and environmental stewardship. Tourism boom and challenges, the increase in tourism brought economic benefits but also presented challenges. Issues such as environmental impact, strain on infrastructure, and the need for sustainable tourism practices became focal points for policymakers. The modern era in Iceland encapsulates a period of resilience, adaptability, and a redefined economic and political landscape. The response to the 2008 financial crisis, characterized by unconventional measures and a focus on social welfare, reflected Iceland's commitment to a unique path of recovery. The country's role as a renewable energy pioneer and its emergence as a popular tourist destination underline Iceland's ability to leverage its strengths. As Iceland navigates the complexities of a changing global economy and addresses the challenges associated with its own success, it continues to be a compelling example of a small nation with a global impact. Cultural Aspects The cultural aspects of Iceland play a pivotal role in shaping the identity of the nation, reflecting its rich history, literature, arts, and societal values. Saga Tradition Iceland is renowned for its medieval sagas, which are prose narratives that depict the historical and legendary events of early Icelandic society. These sagas, such as Njala and Egil's saga, have not only preserved the history of the Viking Age, but also contributed to the cultural and literary heritage of Iceland. Icelandic language, the Icelandic language is a cornerstone of the country's cultural identity. Remarkably well preserved over the centuries, Icelandic remains close to Old Norse, the language of the sagas. Language purity efforts, including the creation of the Icelandic Language Institute, aim to protect and preserve the uniqueness of the Icelandic language. Literary achievements, Iceland has a rich literary tradition that extends beyond the sagas. Modern Icelandic literature gained international recognition with authors like Halder Laxness, who received the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1955. Contemporary Icelandic literature continues to explore themes of identity, nature, and societal changes. Music and arts, the cultural scene in Iceland is vibrant and diverse. The country has produced internationally acclaimed musicians, including Björk and Sigur Rós, who have contributed to the global music landscape. The arts, including visual arts and theatre, also thrive, reflecting Iceland's creativity and innovation. Cultural festivals, various cultural festivals celebrate Iceland's artistic and literary achievements. The Reykjavik Arts Festival and the Iceland Airwaves Music Festival are examples of events that attract artists and visitors from around the world. Film industry, Icelandic cinema has gained recognition for its unique storytelling and portrayal of the country's landscapes. Films such as Jar City and Of Horses and Men have garnered international acclaim. Traditional cuisine, Icelandic cuisine is influenced by the country's geographical isolation and harsh climate. Traditional dishes include fermented shark, hakarl, lamb dishes, and fish-based meals. The revival of traditional food practices and the use of local ingredients contribute to a distinct culinary identity. Cultural aspects are fundamental to Iceland's national identity. The preservation of sagas, the uniqueness of the Icelandic language, and the country's contributions to literature and the arts underscore the importance of cultural heritage. The dynamic cultural scene, spanning music, film, and festivals, reflects Iceland's ability to blend tradition with modernity. As Iceland engages with the global community, its cultural aspects continue to be a source of pride, fostering a sense of belonging and uniqueness among its people. In tracing the history of Iceland, from its early settlement by Norse explorers to its emergence as a modern, independent nation, a fascinating narrative unfolds.
Iceland's story is one of resilience, cultural richness, and a harmonious relationship with its natural environment. The saga tradition, with its tales of Viking exploits and legendary heroes, forms the bedrock of Icelandic cultural identity. This commitment to preserving language and literature, exemplified by the Icelandic sagas and the efforts to maintain linguistic purity, showcases the nation's dedication to its roots. The journey towards independence, marked by the establishment of the Republic in 1944, reflects Iceland's unwavering commitment to self-determination. The economic challenges, notably the financial crisis of 2008, became turning points that not only tested Iceland's mettle but also revealed its capacity for innovative solutions and social resilience. Iceland's post-war transformation into a global leader in renewable energy and its role in international organizations like NATO underscore its impact on the global stage. The nation's unique cultural scene, from literature to music and film, has resonated far beyond its shores, contributing to a global appreciation of Icelandic creativity. As Iceland navigates the complexities of the 21st century, including the opportunities and challenges brought by tourism and a changing climate, its story remains one of adaptation and forward thinking. The nation's commitment to sustainability, seen in its renewable energy practices and environmental initiatives, sets an example for the world. In conclusion, the history of Iceland is a testament to the strength derived from a deep connection to heritage, an embrace of innovation, and a harmonious coexistence with the natural world. Iceland's journey is ongoing, and as it continues to evolve, the nation stands as a unique and inspiring force in the tapestry of global history.